Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Great morning, guys. Um, today, I, I I've been up since six o'clock this morning, y'all. Six o'clock, cause I am preparing. I'm doing a meal prep for a client, and they want it's keto, all keto. So I've been up cooking up a storm. You guys don't mind. Come in and see what I'm doing. Good morning. Look at what. Uh, so I have an extra room in my uh, house. And this is where I normally put all my studio equipments and all that. This puss. This cat. Pushed the door open. Because I had his food. I had his little snacks in here. This puss pushed the door open. Look what he did. Look at this. Look at that y'all. Look. Sylvester, that is not good. See? So this is the mess I have to clean up now. <sighs> All right. So what's on the menu today, you ask? Well, thank you. I'll gladly show you. So today, this morning, I am making uh, chicken and veggie stir fry. Braised oxtail with veggie medley. Remember, this is a, a well, I didn't tell you, but yeah, this is a keto meal, so can't have no starch at all. Ah, uh, spinach dip, and I have some keto chips, beef stew, and I got a hearty, hearty vegan stew, and a curry chicken with sauteed mushrooms. Here, I already have all my ingredients ready for my, uh, Chicken stir fry, I already seasoned the chicken and packaged it from last night. Same thing with my curry chicken, I seasoned it, packaged it from last night. So, I got my, um, my vegan stew over there burning up. So I got my all my veggies, I'll show you all later. Then for my vegan stew, here we go. This is, uh, I need to put this thing on a tripod. This is all sort of assorted veggies. I got my cauliflower, I got my zucchini, my squash, my bell pepper, my onion, my bok choy. And I also did some braised oxtail. I can't put any beans or any those dumplings. Normally we'll put some beans or spinners in there. But because it's keto, we can't do that. So the side with this is going to be um, herb veggies medley, which is gonna be really, really awesome. And we got my Dutch past the Dutch pan the left hand side, past the Dutch pan the left and it has a bun. I got my veggie, I got my Dutch from my chicken, from my curry chicken. So y'all, if you don't mind, um, I just like to show you guys how I'm gonna prepare. First, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna prepare my vegan stew. And then the curry chicken, and then I'll go on from there and do this. But I'll have to do the spinach dip and all that too. All right. All right. Ignore the oxtail on the back. I know the mouth of water. But yeah, so um, I'll start my veggies. I got, like I, I told you before, it's a whole bunch of stuff. And then um, I have, the only thing I have that's not fresh is my can stew tomato and I think the stew tomato give it such a great flavor so I just keep it the way it is and so I'm going to go ahead add that to it oh they're gonna love this they are going to love this yeah so my uh, client uh, she is trying this keto thing and so you know she's she's used to her starch so I'm trying to make it as um, tasteful to her as possible so you know she don't really miss the starch too much and or at all I should say okay so to this to add some stock to 
So I added some stock and I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic chili sauce because she don't mind having her meal with a little kick. So just to give it just a little bit of uh, flavor, just a little kick I should say. I'll do that and I'm going to cover this and let it simmer until the veggies are tender. Yeah, that should be good. So now that this is cooking, number two is going to be my curry chicken. World War Three. this is how you know I've, we, we've cooked some good, good food in it. It got through years of hard, hard work. This is my dutchy pot. Pass my dutchy pan the left hand side. Pass the dutchy pan. Hey, it a go bun? Lord. <laughs> Okay, so like I said with this, you see the zip bag, it's just like I said, oh, ooh, can you see it properly? You see this in the zip bag? Just like I said, I seasoned it from um, last night. So add a little bit of oil to the pot. Ooh, just put it in there like that. And how we all doing guys? I hope everybody is having a great day, great morning. So this is, it is, let me see. It's about 7, 7.30 now. But you know, um, I do apologize about the light. I don't have all the studio lights and everything set up because really and truly, um, I just want you guys to see what I'm really doing right now, like naturally. So, and I do have a video on our uh, curry chicken. I'll leave that in the description so you guys can see it. Or I'm gonna show you where there's gonna be a tag right at the top where you can see that. I don't think you guys are seeing this good enough. Wait, let me adjust this. Let me adjust this just a little bit. So y'all know. I gotta get my uh, producer cameraman on, y'all know. You know what? I think it was better when I put it right here. Yeah, I think y'all gonna see it better. There you go. There you go. There you go. And then put it up over. Boom. Better this way? I think so. This time I did uh, put the curry on it. I know sometimes, I know I, in my video I said I burned the curry. But this time I put the, the curry on the chicken just because I can. And if anybody asks you why you do it like that, you tell them because you can. Because I can. I'm going to add a little bit more curry just to get a little bit more. Now y'all, you know when I'm making my curry chicken, I love to add my carrots, my potato, give it that rich, rich, natural, rich uh, flavoring. However, like I said, my client is on keto, she's doing a keto diet, so I definitely can, um, and these are wings by the way, I definitely can uh, put any um, starch in it, so no potatoes. Even starchy veggies like carrots, I can't do. So we're just gonna do um, some onion, garlic, and thyme. It's still gonna be good. Still gonna be good. And now I'm gonna thicken it. I'm just gonna um, let it reduce. This doesn't really have a lot of uh, liquid, a lot of water in it, so I'm gonna have to add water. So I'm adding, adding my uh, chicken stock. 
to it. Now you can add water. It was a cold and lovely breezy afternoon. How oh, does it feel when you... Y'all remember that song? Pass the Dutch chip on the left hand side. Pass the Dutch chip on the left hand side. It doesn't work. Give me the way down the H.M. Bam Bam. Give me the way down the H.M. Bam Bam. The Dutch panel. Look, my Dutch pack don't have a cover, so I'm just gonna look. It can't even fit. I'm just gonna put a cover in it. All right. My vegan stew, y'all. My vegan stew. My vegan stew. Ooh. 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 This smell good. I'm trying not to let the veggies uh, get too mushy because we want to keep that heartiness because um, we're trying to make the girl full. We're trying to make the lady full, you know. So um, I think this is good. I just want to get it a little bit thicker. I can't put any cornstarch in it because... Um, well, because of the vegan, but so I'm just gonna let it reduce. All right, let me taste this. Mmm, tastes good. Needs seasoning though, definitely. I didn't put any seasoning in that yet. Not yet, but we'll do. Got me piece of onion. And what I'm going to do is cut it as finely as I can. So, I want to say about a half cup of onion. Make sure it's fine diced because you do not want to eat, unless you like chunks of onion, you do not want to be eating your uh, veggie, your uh, spinach dip and biting on big chunks of onion. Nya, 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 nya. Did I, <laughs> why did I make that so? Then y'all, I'm going to come with the garlic and boom, boom, smash that bad boy. You tell that bad boy who's boss. Okay. So you really want to do this fine because you do not want chunks of onion, uh, garlic when you're having your dip. So I'm going to come in. And if you can get crushed garlic or you have that. Thing that the garlic crusher thingy, <laughs> garlic crusher thingy, you know what I'm talking about. The thing you put it at, a, yeah, it mince it for you. You can use that be better. All right, so I got that and that. Okay, y'all, my spinach, my spinach dip, really? Okay, y'all, my, ve my vegan stew is just about done. Look at this. Nice, thick, rich, hearty stew. Ooh, mm, mm, mm. You're going to lick her ten fingers and ten toes. But not when she don't eat this. 
you know, I gotta treat my clients well. That's why I get up early in the morning and prepare their meals so they can have it fresh. I don't do the overnight thing. I just don't know. Unless it I I not unless it's something that I prep, I will prep it overnight. But when it comes to actually preparing their meals and stuff, I do it the same day so they can have it nice and fresh. I believe in quality and freshness. Alright. My curry chicken is still cooking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this to the side because it's done. And I'm going to start on something else. The spinach dip. That's what I'm starting on. excess water out of it because you don't want to put it in here and then it's all watery again so um, just go put it just like that oh this gonna be so good so good so so good so so good And if you want to get a little bit, even a little bit more fancy, y'all can preheat that oven to 350. When this is finished, y'all add some uh, cheese on top of it with a mozzarella parmesan cheese. Put it in the oven and get that nice cheesy crust on top. I'm telling y'all. It's going to be like, what? Who, who did that? Who said that? <laughs> oh my gosh so yeah um let's do this 
Baby, let me show you how to move it. Come on and groove it. Down. Shake that body for me. Y'all see how it's getting, um, I'm going to add just a little bit more heavy cream. You don't want to add too much because the spinach is frozen. And even though I got some of the excess water out, it's still got some in there. So, you don't want to. Even though it looks like this, it's gonna spring some a little bit of the water that's left in it, so you don't wanna add too much. So yeah, then I'm gonna cover it up. But I don't even have to cover it. You just let it simmer. You're doing fine, baby. Let me show you how to move it. Come on and move it. Oh, shake that body for me. I hope y'all can see me zoom in. Y'all see this? Y'all can see in it? Okay. I hope y'all can see that. Peep it, peep it. Chicken is still cooking. Still needs to be reduced some more. So we're just going to let that sit and do its thing. Let nature take its course. Okay? Because I'm telling you, it burns within seconds. Okay, so, um, chickens, this I know I'm doing the chicken and veg stir fry. And you know I show you all the veggies that I use. Now I'm going to put some sesame seed oil. And what we got here, we got onion, we got bell peppers, we got uh, bok choy, some zucchini and squash, we got some um, mushrooms, and we got um, ginger and uh, garlic. Okay? Put it in there. Along with the chicken. like and subscribe share 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 please leave a comment you know you know your girl will answer back okay and i want everybody to have a wonderful wonderful rest of the day all right bye bye